Hi and welcome to a new video. My name is Björn and if you're interested in how I create this particle popping uh, bokeh effect then you should keep watching. Okay so first of all let me change my camera setting over here. Um, I'm looking on my second screen and I hope everything will work. Perfect. Okie dokie, let's start with a new project and my camera setting is working and I did not stop my screencasting as this is my third attempt to uh, create this video. Okay, everything is working and now let's start by deleting the cube, deleting the light and the idea of our uh, of our particle popping animation is we have an emitter we have that is popping the sparks or particles and we put this emitter on a circle which is rotating in all kind of directions and then we will play around with the camera settings to create this bokeh effect quite simple okay start with the with the curve put it something as you like then put in the camera on the right direction and move it something like this check if everything is in line okay we can play around with this uh, every day, every time so next step we want to create our emitter. I like using an icosphere and we now want to put it on this curve. We do this over on the right side with the, with the constraint and the follow path function and we want to bring the icosphere onto the vizier circle. Perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, let's now um, try to animate and what we do over here we keyframe our animation yeah I like these videos with a certain length um, with 3600 frames and we want to give it a rotation first step hit the circle and give it the first keyframe so Next step is try to bring it up to the uh, looping effect. And what we do over here is I need to scale it up. What we see over here is that the circle is rotating on the z-axis. Okay. To make it even more funky, we can also hit over to the last frame and move this circle in all directions okay bring it up like here and here and what you see over here is cool wow okay the circle goes into every direction okay that is working okay next step we want this icosphere, we rename it to emitter. We want this emitter to emit these particles. So we will head over to a modifier, hit the particle system and now we want to, yeah, we need something, no, we need our particles. I also like to use an icosphere. You can also use a cylinder, like a shape form. Quite certain. You can play around with this just to get an idea over here. Okay. So uh, for rendering, I like to bring the particle behind the camera over here, and now we want. the emitter to emit our particles. Let's move it over 
here. That's a good one. So, perfect. So let's look if this is working. Yeah, our emitter is popping our particles. Now we need to change as we want these particles popping in every direction. We need to change it. Um, and therefore we need to change our field whites. We don't want gravity, okay? Not falling everything down. We want to pop up in all directions. Yeah? Okay, so this is working. Let's have a look from the, our camera perspective. Okay, so next step, we want to bring in our ambient occlusion um, for the for the settings I like my final render being quite high I also like for the viewport for you you can see what we are doing in a higher higher quality I like to bring everything up and we don't see anything here because our particle, we need to tell these particles that he should bring up some light. And we do this with shading. And we want the particle over here to, for the blow, a glooming, bl a blooming effect, uh, we need an emission shader over here. Bring it into our surface. I like it like green. We uh, some strength over here, and let's start all over again. Cool. Okay, that is working. Next step, uh, you see over here in the word setting, so the background is gray. Bring it up to black. So, okay, dokey. Next step, let's switch back to our uh, rend uh, render settings. I like it for the look and feel. I like very high contrast, okay? Just play around with it. You can do nothing, nothing wrong. Just give it a try on this. So what else am I looking at? Okay, over here we can kind of seeing that the emitter is quite big. Let's bring it a bit down. Something like this. Yeah, okay, dokey, that looks great. So, and now we see something happening over here. It's done, it's over, okay. Um, that's why the particle system the settings is are over here we start at the first frame and it's the emitter stops popping particles at frame 200 okay we need to expand this and the idea is I like kind of looping around with this for a certain amount of time we are popping particles and to the end of our animation, we bring uh, everything down to black and then it starts over again um, for the loop effect with the particle poppings. So we want um, the emitter to pop particles for about 2750 frames and each particle has a lifetime from about 1000 frames and this could be random okay i also like randomness over here under render settings we can give our particles uh, randomness on how big they are and i like starting with something like this just play around with this okay so what we see over here is we have a quite interesting effect and let's play around with it heading over can you see it's getting lesser 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 we 
just have okay maybe just play around with the emitter maybe maybe we should stop popping particles over here start render all over again see how this is working okie dokie yes then we have the last one and we start over again okay that is our basic setup and yeah <laughs> that's everything um, for for our basic animation and now we want to play around for the bokeh effect with the camera settings uh, hit the camera go over here and yeah give it a, a depth of field setup so we have some sharp areas and we have some not so sharp areas this is depth of field and yeah what we can do over here is playing with the with the lens of the camera the, the virtual lens of this camera and as you can see over here okay that looks quite bright we can play around with this maybe we can go over on the shader editor maybe we can go down with the uh, strength of the color that's okay maybe yeah yeah yeah, yeah maybe so and what else can we do maybe we can play around with the size of our particle let's switch the camera you see the this one is quite big let's bring it a little bit smaller and maybe start all over again oh okay that looks quite quite interesting I like it for my background putting on the TV and yeah that's all okay if you want to use this data uh, look in the description I will share the um, blender file over here and if you like this kind of videos please leave a like um, please leave a comment and if you did not subscribe yet I would be very very thankful so that's everything I hope you had a great start in the uh, new year and we see us in the next video on the tutorial base and if you don't want to create this videos by yourself but just chilling and relaxing with this visual effects go over to my playlist and enjoy my videos I put up for you uh, on YouTube. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.